Hey there people, hope everybody is okay. This video is not about MS. It's just a very quick video um, because um, uh, the other week, it might have been last week actually, um, I made rather an exciting purchase. Well, it was exciting for me anyway. Um, it was, well, I'm going to give you a clue. This is my camcorder which I use, which I have been using to make all of my videos since sort of March last year. Um, it is a, it's a Sony HDR CX155. Um, it records in higher definition and I bought it about five well, I bought it in 2011 to um, record leaving uh, a rented accommodation I was in and um, I wanted to record um, sort of saying goodbye to the house and all that sort of thing uh, but not only that um, I also more importantly I wanted to record buying uh, this this bungalow that my wife and I are in now I wanted to record sort of purchasing that and and film it before we had all the work done to it and, and and after and all that kind of thing so so this this little camcorder has been absolutely brilliant and it, i can't remember how much this particular one was um probably about 300 pounds i think something like that but um technology has moved on quite significantly since then and you're probably thinking to yourself well neil if you're Holding your old camcorder there, what are you using now? Well, exactly. I am using its new big brother, the Sony HD CX625, and which is this baby. And I've been using it probably for about a week now, um, just doing some test videos and things, and I've not I've not actually recorded a YouTube video, hence this being the first. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's the the quality is so much better. Um, it's also got the the audio quality seems to be pretty damn good as well. It's got it's actually recording me in surround sound, 5.1 surround sound. Um, so yes. Anyway. Just so you can have a look at it, I'm going to um, I'm going to attach this old camera back onto. It. I'll just say this is an old camera, but I'm no I'm not getting rid of it. It's um it's an old faithful. It's been really good to me. So uh, I'm going to I'm just going to reattach this one now, and um, and so I can show you the new one. And you'll also be able to tell a difference in the uh, in the footage as well. This the new camera has got um, a wide angle lens, hence. You can see a bit more of me. I'm only standing about two foot from the camera, um, so I'm going to stand about. Well, I'm going to stand in exactly the same position from the old camera, and you'll be able to see the difference. Won't be a sec. Hi. So this is my old Sony, the HDR CX155, and as you can see, my head is very much bigger. It's because. The lens isn't such a wide angle as uh, my new camera. This camera isn't by any means retired though. It's still a very, very good camera. It's my old faithful. I'm not going to part with it. I'm not selling it or anything like that. I'll probably find some use for it somehow with my filming. So I'm, I'm quite excited to have two cameras. So. I'm going to show you my new camera now. Okay, so this is my new baby. This is the Sony HDR CX65. One of the best things about this camera is, oops, I just caught the button there to take a photo, is it's got what's called an optical steady shot. So the lens inside here is it looks like it's suspended in mid-air. So if I rock it up and down like this look or side to side. I don't know if you can see that, but it like moves within the camera. It's really, really good. And so when 
when I'm walking down the garden attempting to walk and I'm sort of bouncing wobbling all over the place um, the shot is a lot steadier. The This along the bottom is the built-in microphone which is recording in 5.1 surround. Um, you can also plug in an external microphone but I don't use the external mic so the sound on the video that you hear with the new camera is just purely recorded from the microphone. And then inside here you've got the uh, LCD screen and the little speaker there and a few other little bits and bobs battery pack on the back. It's nice and compact. So and that's the that's the zoom on top and that you can just take a uh, you can just take a like a normal photograph with it. So oops, I'm catching things. So so yeah, that's um it's pretty good. I'm going to swap back to the uh, I've got a even I've got a duck here. So uh, because uh, I've lowered the camera to record that, so I'm going to swap back to the to the new one now. Hi, me again. So um, you probably noticed with the old camera that uh, I couldn't even fit me and the camera in the same shot, whereas uh, whereas with this one the wide angle lens is is really good, and I can easily sort of um, get both of us in there. So um, I just put that down there. Yeah, so really pleased. I'm very very happy. So I'm going to be recording on this from now on bit of an update for you. Uh, last week, I think last Sunday, I uploaded a video um, whereby I had a bit of a shock when I woke up and I couldn't move my legs. Um, this week, throughout this whole week, I, I haven't been too bad. I haven't been brilliant, but I've had a few bad days. And uh, today, actually, today is Sunday, the uh, 22nd of I have to think then, 22nd of January 2017, Sunday. It's about sort of, um, oh, it's 20 past three in the afternoon. Um, I'm not sure if I'll upload this video today though, but today I had really good sleep last night and consequently I, I woke up feeling pretty good. And um, it makes such a massive difference when you've had some quality sleep. I have still got my incredibly weak back, my legs still like they feel like they're having their life squeezed out of them, but I'm not that tired. You know, I'm, I haven't got tiredness on top of that and fatigue, so, so I'm feeling okay today. I'm really pleased about that for a change. Um, I would say I have more bad days than good days, though, at this particular moment in time. Um, so, you know, hopefully... I'm hopeful that, that that will alter in the very near future. Um, like I say, this is a bit of a random video really, almost to sort of test this new camera out. So I'd be interested to, to see people's opinions um, and what they, what they think and when comparing this video to some of my older ones. For some of you Molly fans out there, and I know there are quite a few, I'm pleased to report, I haven't done a video on Molly just lately, but I do intend to do one. I'm, I'm, I'm really struggling for time at the moment, to be honest with you. But I love doing the YouTube videos. I absolutely love replying to comments and interacting with all my subscribers, all of, all of you guys, which are absolutely fantastic. I appreciate all of you. But uh, I keep digressing. Molly is absolutely fantastic. Since she's been on these blood pressure tablets, her appetite has picked up. Um, she's harassing me more than normal. In fact, I'm surprised she hasn't uh, homed in on my voice and uh, come down. Yeah, she's harassing me more than normal, uh, for food of course. And she's just really good. On February the 12th this year, um, in a few weeks time, she's gonna turn 19 years old, 19, you know, that's probably about a thousand in our years. Oh, sorry, in cat years or something like that, you know. <laughs> so, uh, um, no, actually, I think 19 in geriatric cat years is about 93 or 94. There was a, there was a poster in the vet. Anyway, this 
was meant to be a short video and you know what I'm like, I can talk for England. My mum always used to say, if Neil's quiet, he's not very well. Well, I'm not quiet today, so. See you guys, hope everybody is well, and um, I'll catch you in the next video. I've, I've got a few ideas for the next video. I kind of put some ideas in a, a previous one, and um, I'm not quite sure which one to do. Uh, I know that uh, my wife, Mrs. Bradley, or Teresa, is quite keen to get recording um, her sort of video with regard to um, how she copes with, with me. God. I'm sure she copes absolutely fine with me. And um, I'll be definitely vetting the video, let's put it like that. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> um, Okay, well, I'm just prattling on now. So, um, as I say, hope everybody is fine. Hope everybody is well. Um, thumbs up. Comment. And, and if you really sort of... Um, okay, subscribe, you know. I think we're up to about 330 subscribers now. So, around about 30 subscribers so far this January. Bye-bye for now, guys. Cheers.